Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Monday Night Raw as we kick things off with the Texas Rattlesnake Stone Cold Steve Austin as the co-GM of Monday Night Raw is here tonight as we're just two weeks away from WWE Extreme Rules. Not exactly, Not exactly likable. likable. Well, okay, well, okay. And for the past two weeks, that man right there, the co-GM, of Monday Night Raw has stunned the chairman of the, vo the board, the GM of Raw, Vince McMahon, twice over the past couple of weeks. And Vince McMahon offered the, wanted an apology last week from Steve Austin, but he didn't get one. He received a second stunner from the co-GM, and Stone Cold Steve Bring Austin is out here tonight. The, the fans, are, the eating fans are eating it up. And it's good to know that Austin is here to keep things in charge and keep Vince McMahon in line, of course. As we all know the chairman of the board can very get two beside himself. That's what a Raw we got here tonight. We have our main event, a triple threat matchup. Winner takes on Kevin Owens for the Universal Championship at the screen rules. It'll be Samoa Joe, Shinsuke Nakamura, well, okay, and the Viper Randy okay. Orton. Bringing the attitude. Bring the attitude. What now? What now? Oh, wait a minute. It looks like Vince McMahon is going to give Stone Cold Steve Austin a rude interruption here tonight. He really loves he that really mic. The we raw drill we manager, Vincent Kennedy McMahon, interrupting his narch enemies, Stone Cold Steve Austin. And you can tell Vince McMahon is not such... A fine employee of Stone Cold Steve Austin. As Vince said it out last week. He wants Austin gone from this position as co-GM. Bad blood is Bad a boiling. Blood is a boiling. And Vince McMahon letting Austin know if he does and not apologize to him here tonight, uh -oh. Austin will be arrested right here on the spot. And the San Francisco crowd will love to see Austin give Vince McMahon another stunner here tonight. A lot of anger behind, lot of those, anger words, behind those words, guys. Going to be hard Going getting be hard into the arena, getting with, into the arena, the arena with an eagle that big. And Vince McMahon calling Steve Austin one of the most absurd superstars in WWE history. Vince McMahon claiming that he made Stone Cold and said a household a name he is today. And he's demanding okay. some respect okay. from Steve Austin. And Austin letting Vince McMahon know he doesn't give a damn what he made into a household name. Stone Cold said he's great because he is great, not because of Vince McMahon. Hard to finish, hard to anything finish around, anything this place. around this place. Bad doesn't Bad even begin, doesn't even to, begin describe to describe the blood between, the blood these, between superstars. these superstars. Vince McMahon said someday, someday he's going to get rid of Stone Cold Steve Austin once and for all. And calling his son Shane McMahon one of the dumbest human beings on earth. For giving Stone Cold Steve Austin the job you gotta love here that in that WWE. The they say pride, they say comes, pride before the comes before the fall. We shall see. We shall see. Stone Cold Steve Austin nodded to the fact that his son Shane McMahon, Vince's son Shane, has more integrity, more balls, more guts than Vince McMahon ever had as a leader. And he should be running things here on Monday Night Raw, not him and Vince. An angry, an reaction, angry reaction from an from angry, from a superstar. angry superstar. Oh, Stone Cold Steve Austin and Vince McMahon seem to be, still be jawing off. And Vince, oh, what a headbutt. Right to the back of the head. I mean, right to the face of Stone Cold Steve Austin. What a nasty headbutt that was by Vince McMahon from on the Steve Austin. Behind. Now Vince trying to take the fight oh, on to the Raw G Co GM. Oh, things are exploding out here tonight. Vince McMahon has enough for Steve Austin. 
And Stone Cold has had enough of Vince McMahon. After two straight weeks of being stunted, Vince McMahon has had enough of Stone Cold Steve Austin putting his hands on him now. Austin stomping the ball. And to Vince McMahon here tonight. And Vince McMahon. Pops never came out here. Oh, I asked for this. But Steve Austin is going to open up a can of whoop ass on Vince McMahon here tonight. Oh, Mr. McMahon now. Oh, what a clothesline. Who the hell you ever expected to see these two men brawl it out here on Raw? But that's exactly what's happening. Austin. Like a power bomb here. Oh, puts him down. Austin, oh, what a stunner. Stone Cold with a stunner again on Vince McMahon for the third week in a row. Another way Austin realized that Vince might get back up to his feet. Austin measuring Vince. And there it is, another stunner on Vince McMahon. And Steve Austin opened up a can of whoop ass on the leader of the world rush. World Entertainment. I was about to say World Wrestling Federation. Whoops. Vince McMahon being Stone Cold Stunner by Steve Austin for the third week in a row. Got hit with two ones. Two for the night. That's what a wicked way to start off Monday Night Raw between a Raw drill manager and a co-GM as those two men cannot seem to get along. And we can have expected that. And all this is thanks to Vince's son Shane McMahon who allowed... Austin to get this position, who gave this position to Stone Cold Steve Austin as a sort of a backup plan, just in case he lost at WrestleMania, which Shane did lose at WrestleMania and still was able to stick it to his father here go, without here being go, here on Raw. And up next here, our tag team matchup is the Viking and Raiders, the self proclaimed number one contenders for the Raw Tag Team Champions, Ray, 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 will take on Robert Rude and, and Dolph Ray, Ziggler. As can Rude Dolph find some way to knock off the Viking Raiders? Eric and Ivar have been on a surge scene of the Raw Tag Team Championships. And if you guys are wondering why the music does not play, I have no idea why they cut the music off. I can't. I guess it's just something with Sony and PlayStation. Or with 2K, it just doesn't allow the video to capture the music like how I used to. But we have no music, and it's pretty annoying. I'm praying for 2K22 just like the rest of us or an AEW or the AEW video game because this, this is not a wrestling game. You can't even put music. But the Viking Raiders are looking to get back in the hunt and bring the raid here tonight to San Francisco. Just two weeks ago, at the Money in the Bank pay per view, Eric and Ivar had their shots at the Raw Tag Team Championship, but came up short against the Street Profits. But tonight, they're looking to silence the critics and get this victory over Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler. The glorious one, Robert Roode. One half of the tag team, the Rudolph, between him and Dolph Ziggler. They've been quite the successful tag team. Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler, former SmackDown tag team champions, now coming together once again here on Monday Night Raw, looking to chase tag team gold and the tag team division. Robert Roode, a former NXT champion, former Intercontinental champion, and United States champion. We would have some quite accolades for him here in WWE. As we mentioned, we already mentioned he's a former tag team champions three times. So Robert Roode is quite the tag team partner to have. And of course, Dolph Ziggler has stuck with him despite Robert Roode being injured for almost a year. The 
show off Dolph Ziggler. And his partner, and his partner from Hollywood, from Hollywood, Florida, playing in, playing in, from the World Heavyweight Champion Dolph Ziggler. As a part of the triple threat matchup last week between Keith Lee, Samoa Joe. Well, sometimes you forget well, sometimes that came up a bit short. That's really accomplished in WWE. WWE. But this is a superstar super who, who has stood the test. Stood the test. I hear models look the same as NBA 2K2. I just recycle here, models. Any superstar Robert Rude starting to match up all oh, and Rude just got knocked down with a clothesline by Ivar. What a right that was. Eric and Ivar are not in the best mood here tonight. After losing their opportunity at the Raw Tag Team Championships, now they're looking to take it to Dolph Ziggler and Robert Rude here tonight on Raw. Ivar's up in the corner. Oh, clothesline, running Bulldog. Looking for the quick winning, playing possum here. This could net them a victory. Oh, Robert Rude almost stealing one. For him and Dolph Ziggler on the clothesline. Does no damage to Ivar. And another one all right to the back of the head. That'll dose out some pain. Oh, now up on the shoulders. Oh, and a TKO that was there. And now Robert Rude in control of this matchup. And we see a suplex here. Oh, what a beautiful suplex. And here's the tag in the Ziggler as the show off is in now. Dolph Ziggler looking to oh, damage the rest of what his partner has started here on Ivar. He's in the corner now. Ziggler taking a bad time to taunt. That's not a smart idea if I was Dolph Ziggler. And now Ivar in trouble. Oh, and a Russian leg sweep. He needs to get the tag in to his tag team partner, Eric. One half of the Viking Raiders. And oh, face first. Dolph Ziggler coming in control in this matchup. Snap there. Roll over next now. Dolph Ziggler making it look easy inside of that ring. Oh, trying to get a tag in. And Ivar, oh, cross body there. Leaping on to the show off. Crushing Dolph Ziggler. And Ziggler being sent over the top rope and down to the outside. Oh, and a glorious one. Robert Roode doing too much smack talking. And oh, is going to pay the price there. Ziggler back inside of the ring. Ziggler getting out of the way that time. Ivar ate that punch. Dolph looking for neck breaker. There he scores with that one. I want to get a tag in. The tag to Rob Rude, and here's one to Eric. And oh, the Viking Raiders trying to fire themselves back up here in this matchup. Oh, what a move that was! From Robert Rude, slowing down the momentum of Ivar, who finds his way back into this matchup. But a quick counter there. Oh, what a chop that was right to the chest. And Perry, oh, what a clothesline. Producing, producing, trampling. And now a sleeper hole locked in. The sleeper. Could be nap time. Be nap time. Trying to put him away here with the sleeper hole. Oh, but Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler there to save the matchup. On a cheap shot by Ziggler. Oh, and Ivar. I mean, Eric taking him out there. The better part of the Smart idea by Robert Rude to roll to the outside. Has him up. And oh, and a thunderous suplex. Oh, nice job playing possum there. And oh! Just got his face knocked in. Oh, roll him over. Oh, that knee right to the face. You see the blood pouring out of the side of the head of Robert Rude. Is the tag to Ivar running it all with a headbutt? I think Dolph Ziggler may be out on the outside with some sort of injury as he landed hard. Rude taking too much time to taunt, gonna pay for it. Oh, 
Dolph Ziggler being tagged back inside of the ring. And the show off is in with a leaping clothesline. Taking him right off his feet. Ziggler going to work with those elbows. Look at the show off go. Bringing the pain to Ivar. Nasty elbows. A trifecta. When is it going to stop? And the, oh, last one there. Shoulders down, legs hooked to defeat the Viking Raiders. No. Ziggler and Root was close that time. But no cigar. Oh, Ivar with a power bomb. And Ziggler, oh, just got his face knocked off there. But that spinning heel kick, top rope. Dolph is in La La Land. Ivar from the top row with a leg drop. Crashing and burning on the show off. This could do it. One, two, oh. A two out. A kick out at two there. Ziggler able to stay in it. Oh. Ziggler. And Dolph Ziggler being grabbed by the back of the head. And the show off. Oh. Tossed right in the corner, but the tag is going to happen nonetheless. Oh, what a raging knee right to the face. A Ziggler there who could be seeing stars cover. Oh, Robin Root saving the matchup. Robert Root is going to get brought right back inside of the ring. Robert Root being taken out of this matchup, and that just leaves Ziggler all alone with the Viking Raiders and Eric and Ivar, and perhaps setting up to put a proverbial finish here tonight. Uh-oh. Is the hype, and there it is. Viking Raiders looking for the win. Three, and the Viking Raiders pick up the victory. At the raid. And the Viking Raiders pick up a well used victory here on, tonight on Monday Night Raw over Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode. He's going to have to move on to our next matchup here on this dead episode of Monday Night Raw and probably NXT and SmackDown will probably have the same feel with no music. Because they don't let the sound music in the game. And some music are copyright. Which is to the people that are copyright my videos. I just want to say this. It is not my fault that the music is in the game. I didn't put it in the game. I don't want it in the game. Really. I don't bother me. It's not my fault that it's in the game. It's playing. I don't know what you think you're going to get out of me copywriting me because I ain't got no money to pay you. So if you're going to flag my video down, that's just really low. It's not my fault that the music is in the game. The game put it there, not me. I just put the video up. I don't, I'm not trying to bite off you, not trying to take your song or any of that riff raff. It's just in the game. All right? I like the way how it sounds. That's just me. Don't copyright, don't flag, don't take my videos down. I'm just a black dude trying to eat. Just like the rest of y'all. Don't violate me. You know, peace and love. And next up, here's the disciple, Buddy Murphy. Getting set to take on the limitless one, Keith Lee. And Buddy Murphy has been having some problems with Seth Rollins over the past couple of weeks. Was made his good grace by attacking Cesaro before his matchup against Rollins for the Intercontinental Championship last week. And now Murphy is in the greatest good to the Monday Night Messiah, but looks to impress the Monday Night Messiah by taking out a familiar foe of Seth Rollins in the terms of Keith Lee. 
who has said he is gunning at the Rollins Intercontinental Championship. Buddy Murphy getting set to take on Keith Lee. Can Murphy knock off Lee and impress the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins? Or will the limitless one continue to have Murphy and the rest of the WWE Universe bask in his glory here on Monday Night Raw? And his opponent, and his opponent from Wichita, from Wichita, Falls, Wichita Falls, Texas, Falls, Texas, Texas, weighing in, weighing at 300, 320 pounds, limitless, limitless. Keith, Keith, Lee. Keith Lee has an opportunity here tonight to stick it to the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins, by taking out his henchman, Buddy Murphy, as Keith Lee, one of the strongest and agile athletes in WWE today, he has been on a roll since coming to Monday Night Raw the night after WrestleMania, and he has not slowed down. It's a impressive, an impressive performance inside of the Money in the Bank ladder matchup just eight nights ago at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, but Keith Lee looks to keep the ball rolling and keeps his momentum up. And agility, and agility of the former collegiate defensive lineman that he is. Won a number of championships, number of championships, championships in the end of the ranks, ranks before he knew. Come to leave WWE Universe, you hear them chanting, basking in his glory. And that's certainly what they're going to do here tonight is Lee versus Buddy Murphy. Oh, Keith Lee running right through Buddy Murphy that time. Oh, the disciple Buddy Murphy now showing off his power. Here, oh, look at the power of Murphy lifting up Lee and sending him into the turnbuckle once again. 300 plus pounds just being lifted up and being tossed to the turnbuckle. How about that? You don't see that every day. And oh, the chop right to the chest there by Buddy Murphy. Off the ropes, Keith Lee. On the counter there by the limitless one. Oh, looking to turn the tide. Ooh. Beautiful move there by Keith Lee. Slowing up the momentum of Buddy Murphy, who's got caught in the grasp of Keith Lee. And over the head, belly to belly. Wicked suplex there. Oh, and a chop right to the chest. Heard all around the arena. Oh, Keith Lee, we've seen this before. Lee done this. Oh, with a spear wiping him out. As the limitless one, Keith Lee, bringing all his undulterated power here in this matchup against, oh, Buddy Murphy, the disciple. Who's getting every inch to bask in the glory of Keith Lee here tonight. Oh, Murphy with a counter. Oh, right into the barricade goes Murphy. Ouch. Kick to the midsection, DDT, and oh, what an awesome kip up there by Lee. Murphy getting out of the way of that one. And grabbing Lee by the head and slamming him down to the canvas. And a disciple, Buddy Murphy, taking advantage here in this matchup. Can he get enough? Pump handle. Oh, gut buster. A pump handle, gut buster there, bringing down the knee on the midsection there, pulling the head down again. And Buddy Murphy exploding so much aggressiveness here in this matchup against Keith. Now he's been put on the defensive. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy. And oh, Lee with another shoulder tackle, bringing Buddy Murphy down. Look at the athleticism of Keith Lee with a standing moonsault. Shoulders down on the kick out at one. Keith Lee back up to the second rope now. Frog splash! All the way to Keith Lee comes crashing down on the disciple Buddy Murphy. On a beer hug locked in right in the middle of the ring. Nowhere to go. Oh, but, oh Murphy escaping this hole. Doing whatever he can to find a way out with a knee right to the gut. Oh, Murphy grabbing Keith Lee by the throat. And Lee, oh! 
right to the midsection there. Great evasion. Great evasion. Keeps leaving the counter with that time. Belly to belly. No, belly to belly, that one, oh, and another over the head, belly to belly suplex from Keith Lee, who is filling in here tonight on Raw. And disciple Buddy Murphy, not having the best of luck against Keith Lee, oh, here tonight. And, oh, nice counter there. Murphy, oh, a swinging neck breaker. Now Gounce in the eyes. Oh. Oh, the knee. Right to the face. Oh, and a Frankensteiner. Buddy Murphy looking to pick up the victory. Oh, Keith Lee was almost finished there. Buddy Murphy almost had the matchup won. As a disciple. Oh. And a headbutt there by Keith Lee. Oh, off the ropes is Lee. Breaks through the clothesline. And Keith Lee, oh, what a pounce that was. Keith Lee with the pounce there. And Lee now setting up Murphy. We could be seeing the end in here. Oh, but buddy, Murphy counters it. Murphy with a counter there. Oh, Keith Lee. Over the head, belly to belly. Uh, Buddy Murphy rolls to the outside. Not the best idea. Oh, what the hell was that? It's like Keith Lee was caught in midair or something. Or just ricocheted off of Buddy Murphy. I don't know what the hell that was, but the disciple is going to take advantage here tonight. Oh, face first right against the ring apron. Oh, he caught him that time, and oh! Murphy was going for that knee combination again, but Lee caught him. An elbow right to the face. Oh, and a chop right to the chest. Buddy Murphy in the corner now. He did some unadulterated shots by Keith Lee. Lee's gonna oh, make sure Murphy fill it there. Oh. Murphy, oh, and a nice counter. Keith Lee, oh, and his neck breaker again. Oh, they're going to gouge their eyes out, but, oh, Keith Lee counters it. And, oh, Keith Lee counters it again. Lee with another counter. Murphy back and forth, oh. Keith Lee caught the leg, oh. Took him down there. And a late face first. And the limitless one rolls back to the outside here. And the disciple Murphy. And we're looking to make Seth Rollins proud with a victory over Keith Lee, who's been gunning at Rollins in the Continental Championship. Here we go. Oh, look at the power of the disciple Buddy Murphy. Oh! What a cutter that was. And no, Lee got the shoulder up at two. Buddy Murphy has taken Keith Lee to his limits here tonight. Lee ducks that one. On a slap right to the face. Murphy, oh, what a hard shot there. Nice counter. Oh, and Lee. Fought out of it. Oh, what a spine buster. Keith Lee with a spine bust now has him up. Oh, that's going to be a pop ball. Good night, Keith Lee. I mean, Buddy Murphy. Two, three.
at the end. Oh, don't say this shit fucking crashed it. Keith Lee picks up a victory. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think Lee is done yet. Keith Lee wants to send a message to the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins. Rollins was sick and Murphy on the lead here tonight. Tough situation Tough to be situation in right here. To be in right here. And, oh, Seth Rollins is going to descend. Oh. Murphy on the lead is going to pay for it here as his disciples being picked apart. And Keith Lee, oh, what a shoulder tackle. Murphy back up to his feet. This is not going to be good for Buddy Murphy. Oh, no, Lee. Don't do this. Oh, no. No. Power ball right on the floor. And the disciple, Buddy Murphy, being wiped out. And this is actually not a bad idea by Keith Lee. Ground zero right on the floor. A big bang catastrophe right on the floor. Wiping out Buddy Murphy. Keith Lee shouting out, Rollins has nowhere to turn, no one to look to now. That Buddy Murphy is laid out. As we do know, Shinsuke Nakamura, his other disciple, is pretty busy and pretty focused on winning the Universal Championship. Seth Rollins cannot be a happy camper right now after what he just witnessed, what just happened to his disciple, Buddy Murphy. Uh, speaking of the Monday Night Messiah, now let's jump to Mr. Money in the Bank, Bobby Lashley, the leader of the new nation, the CEO of the Hurt Business, is live here tonight on Raw, and he has something to say. Is the almighty Bobby Lashley, the love for that superstar. The love for that superstar, Mr. Money in the Bank, who won the Money in the Bank eight nights ago, but came out here last week on Raw and interrupted the Universal Champion Kevin Owens and said he is not going to cash in on no one's time. As Owens was trying to goat Lashley into cashing in the briefcase, so it, begins. so it begins. You've got to love the attitude. Bobby Lashley declined it and is going to wait until the right opportunity to strike on the Universal Champion, Kevin Owens. And Bobby Lashley said he'll be watching very closely to tonight's triple threat matchup. Okay, okay. As Hulk you know, the, the winner bear. The bear. of that matchup will take on. Should have known that Should have known that going to go. Well, hold up, wait a minute. Uninterrupted. The phenomenal one, AJ Styles. Looks like he may have something to say to the almighty Bobby Lashley. What's this all about? What's this Here all we about? Go. Here we go. He's not going to keep us waiting, keep so, us let's waiting. so let's find out. This superstar, this superstar loves getting, loves aggressive. getting aggressive. Mixing it up. Mixing it up. AJ Styles interrupting the almighty Bobby Lashley. And AJ Styles says, everybody know he should have been money in the bank and not Bobby Lashley. No love between no these Styles claiming that, that he had that, that money in the bank sure. briefcase one. But it was Bobby Lashley who came and to end it all that and pushed Styles off the ladder and was able to climb the ladder and retrieve the money in the bank briefcase. 
And Bobby Lashley reminding AJ is not very wise One to interrupt an almighty in such like Bobby Lashley. No no I want to check well, that, ego, check at the that door. ego at the door. Bringing the attitude. Bringing the attitude. Well, okay. Well, okay. And Bobby Lashley noted for the fact that AJ Styles has been crying on Monday Night Raw for well over a year. Wasted opportunity after wasted opportunity. Not making any, not friends, making any but friends, not but really concerned, not really about, concerned either. about it. Either. Always the aggressor Always and the not aggressor afraid, to, not show afraid it, to show it, guys. AJ Styles says Bobby Lashley will never be able to beat him. Never in a one-on-one -on -one contest. Well, the table well, is the set. Table is bad set. Blood bad is a boiling. Is a boiling. Now the almighty Bobby Lashley telling AJ Styles to put his money where his mouth is. Bobby Lashley said he will break the phenomenal one in half Ride comes Ride if they have a step foot one-on-one -on -one in the ring. And oh, what a low blow that was by Styles. Kicking Mr. Money in the Bank. Bobby Lashley right below the belt. Bobby oh, Lashley, Lashley hanging on. And Lashley with Lashley a spear. Right now. Can you blame Bobby Can you blame Lashley with a spear. Wiping out AJ Styles and all. It's a brawl going on. Here inside of the ring between AJ Styles and Bobby Lashley. AJ Styles. Interrupting Mr. Money in the Bank and noting the fact that he should have been Mr. Money in the Bank and that the briefcase was stolen from him at the hands of Bobby Lashley. Now Styles is old. Looking to pick him apart here tonight. Oh, another spear. Bobby Lashley with another spear. Oh, and a kick right to the midsection as these two men raging war on one another. This is what Monday Night Raw all is all about. What a boot that was right to the face by Styles. Oh. AJ Styles with a snap grip. Oh. The Almighty. I'm looking for a clone line, but it was ducked there by Styles. Oh, look at the power of Bobby Lashley. Lashley. Oh, just dumping AJ Styles over the top rope like a small child. The power of Bobby Lashley is daring AJ to get back inside of the ring, and the phenomenal once is not tonight. AJ Styles might have bit off more than he can chew. Did you see that? Lashley just easily lifting stuff. I mean, AJ Styles and tossing him over the top rope. And coming up next, Andrade will go one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Owens after what happened last week between Andrade and Kevin Owens. And the matchup just started, and Owens ended up wiping the floor with Andrade. Now Andrade looks to make revenge happen here tonight against the Universal Champion, Kevin Owens, who squashed him last week. Will the same happen again here tonight, or will Andrade somehow defeat KO? Kevin Owens has Kevin proven Owens time and time again that he's absolutely one of the most tenacious competitors in WWE. WWE. He won't be controlled, he won't be he controlled that he can't be stopped once he, once he stops, sets, sets his mind, sets on, his something. mind on something. The new found the focus, new found of focus of Andrade has brought him... It's Andrade and Zelena. As Andrade being accompanied to the ring by Zelina Vega. Making his way to the ring. It has not been a great couple of months here on Monday Night Raw for Andrade. As he looks to keep it and get it things together. 
Andrade, 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 one of the most one of the sure fire superstars in WWE, WWE today. today. And by his side, and by his side Zelina Vega, is Zelina one of the saddest managers to ever stand ringside. ringside. These two, these two are legit. Are legit. The former United States champion has had his rough patches here on Monday Night Raw. Is looking to make a go of it here tonight. Zelina Vega talking into the ear. Here comes Kato. There's the Universal Champion, Kevin Owens. And his opponent, and his opponent, Marie Ville, Marie Ville, Canada. Canada. And that man, Kevin Owens, will defend that Universal Championship a week from Sunday at Extreme Rules against the winner of tonight's Triple Threat main event, either Samoa Joe, Randy Orton, or the disciple Shinsuke Nakamura. Owens is not focusing on Extreme Rules. He's focused on tonight and his matchup against Andrade. Kevin Owens made quick work of Andrade last week. Will the Universal Champion do the same here tonight in this matchup? Plenty at stake Plenty here, guys. Stake here, guys. The title might the title on, the the on the line. Intensity. Here we go. Oh, a close line there. He's a temper that just won't quit. All of these characteristics define and drive. Kevin Owens. Oh. Right back on the attack. Just like how he was last week against Andrade. Oh. Nice counter there. Andrade. Ducking down there. Oh, missing the elbow drop. Oh, and Andrade right back with a Close line. Right to the back of the head. What a kick that was. All rolls and through. Now look at the power of the schoolboy flexing the universal champion KO up and slamming him down hard. Now Andrade have his leg up. And oh! Kevin Owens catching the leg. Oh, let's deliver him in the clothesline that time. That clothesline made Zelina Vega go out. Now Trotty escapes that hole. Right in the corner. And KO Owens looking for a clothesline, but Trotty gets out of the way. A slap right to the chest. Into the corner now. Andrade has oh, oh, Owens in the ropes. Oh, making the Universal Champion pay that time. Andrade to the top rope. Oh my God! Oh my God! He's gonna look to the sky. Oh, so Saul connects there. Andrade looking better than what he did last week against Kevin Owens, as the matchup didn't even go this far. Andrade showing a different side out here, taking on the Universal Champion. Oh, Owens with a headbutt that time. Knocking Andrade silly as he sends him to the second rope. Now on the outside, KO up and over the top rope. Look at the Universal Champion go. And look at Zelina Vega. Trying to distract Owens with her body. Andrade trying to get back into this matchup. But Owens not allowing that on right into the steel steps. As Kevin Owens gets back inside of the ring. Count of four. Zelina Vega screaming at Andrade to get back inside of the ring. Referee up to a count of five. Back inside he is. And oh, a super kick right to the face. Shoulders down. And a kick out. Andrade has felt some damage here in this matchup. Same as Owens. Torture rack position. Oh! 
Vicious neck breaker there. Oh, what a kick out. Oh, nice counter there. And Andrade, oh, the Herakurana. Beautiful running Herakurana right there. Two former NXT champions raging war here tonight on Raw. Oh, so they say Raw is war. Oh, Owens. Oh, watch him out there. Owens is climbing up the second rope, but seeing Andrade looking to escape from there. Oh, clothesline. Uh oh. On their shoulders. On their shoulders. And, oh, the Samoa drop by KO. He's now back up to the second rope now. Uh oh, oh looking for that BME. Oh, the BME connects. This could do it right here. One. Oh, and a kick out. You gotta give it to Andrade for staying in it here. Oh, and chop right back to KO. The Corona. Athleticism on the display. Check this out. Oh, oh backbreaker by Andrade. Trust serious trust serious trust game ground game ground to stay in this. To stay in this. A change of strategy has to be his next move. Owens with a multi-slip. Yo, hanging on to things on the outside. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be a nasty landing for Andrade and Owens. Oh! Suplex right to the outside. Hellacious suplex there. Back in from the back in from the floor. Kevin Owens. Oh. Giving Andrade something to worry about. Oh, Andrade's trying to slip under the ropes. But Kevin Owens getting right back inside of the ring. Corner now. Oh, it's setting up. Cannonball connects on Andrade. And a cannonball right there. Shoulders down. Oh, a kick out. KO not able to put away Andrade. Was going to go up to the top rope. Viva La Lasa. Oh, the frog splash, but no. The knees were up. Andrade got the knees up there. And now Andrade looking for Hamelock DDT. Selena Vega losing her mind on the outside. Hamelock DDT to defeat the Universal Champion. Two. Oh, and Owens kicks out. Owens got his shoulder up. Kevin Owens was able to get the shoulder up. Snap there. Oh, and a kick right to the back of Owens. Oh, fighting it off. And I headbutt. Kevin Owens, oh. Uh-oh. KO has Andrade up. In the corner. DDT. DDT by Owens. He was begging for Andrade to get back up to his feet. Oh, wait a minute. I know what this is. It's like a pop up power bomb. Pop up power bomb by Owens. Kevin Owens standing over the prone body of Andrade, who is setting up for Stunner. Here it is. Stun. Owens stun right in the middle of the ring. Shoulders down, legs hooked. And Kevin Owens picks up a win. Kevin Owens looking over his shoulder, looking out for the almighty Bobby Lashley who could perhaps cash in his money in the bank anytime he feels like it. Lashley like he has a lot of other problems on his hands with the phenomenal one AJ Styles.
Uh, and up next, Elias will take on Rey Mysterio, who was assaulted last week at the hands of the Viper, Randy Owen, who dressed up as Rey Mysterio, came out and beat the living hell out of Mysterio with a steel chair. Can Rey Mysterio focus and get a win over Elias here tonight on Raw? Hello, I am Hello, Elias. I am Elias. And as the man and as the who holds the power of the wind in his wrist, I've got one question, one question, question for everybody, for everybody, here, everybody tonight. here tonight. Who wants to walk with a lie? With a lie. Now, I now, have been I have all been across the world. I've been to Paris. I've been to Italy, 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 all across Europe, South America, South America, South Africa. South Africa. South Africa. You name it. You Elias, name it. Has Elias has been there and has brought, brought me here brought tonight. Here tonight. And it seems everywhere it seems I go, everywhere no matter what I do, matter what universal, do, universal truth follows, truth me. follows me. And I am certain, and I am certain that everyone here knows, knows it. It is that WWE, is that WWE stands, WWE stands for. for. I said WWE, I said WWE, WWE stands, for. stands for. Well, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you. I certainly came to the came to the song tonight, but before I get started, I need you all to do a few things for me. I need you to silence, need you to silence cell phones. Cell phones. Hold your applause. Hold your applause. And shut and your shut mouth. your mouth. I'm waiting I'm for a time to not such a dream. This is a really good song. But I, I see so many see so stupid, many stupid people. people. I want to punch them in the face. face. I for a town, I'm such a disgrace. But I see so many people. I want to punch them in the face. This is great. The performance of Elias is not going to be continued. He's going to be interrupted by WWE's biggest little man, the King of Lucha Libre, Rey Mysterio. It's the master of the 619. Looks to throw out the Randy Orton drama and focus on this match ahead here tonight. Master of the 619 trying to shut Elias up here tonight. Oh, 
Kicked out was right to the face by Mysterio. We interviewed Randy Orton earlier tonight, and he said he's not going to give an explanation on why he assaulted Mysterio last week before Rey Mysterio's matchup against Ricochet. Rey's been doing this for a long time, and his game's never slipped for a second. He's still a symbol of the world of Lucha Libre greatness. We're seeing it. We're seeing it. going up to the second rope. I mean, top rope here. The Lions. Oh, what a diving body press. Cover. And Frank Mysterio able to kick out. Oh. Oh, Mysterio. The bulldog. Oh, planting the Lions face first. Excellent maneuver there by Rey Mysterio. Elias has an album debut at all. The second album dropped tonight. What a victory. This will be over Rey Mysterio. So, oh, fulfill that. The celebration will definitely be on hold. He's feeling he's feeling the last hit. If he can hold the line, he'll be in a good position. Move down to the line, 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 move Elias in trouble. Mysterio from the top rope. Oh, the power bomb. Ray Mysterio caught from the top rope there by Elias. Oh, another spinning heel kick. Oh, oh, Ray Mysterio. Oh, three amigos now. The third all. Oh, wait a minute. Randy Orton. Oh, come on now. What is Randy Orton doing? Randy Orton didn't offer an explanation on why he attacked Rey Mysterio last week. Rey Mysterio, turn around. Rey, turn around. He's behind you. The three most dangerous words in WWE history is right behind you. And Randy Orton there. RKO. And surprisingly, the official never saw it. RKO. And look at Elias, he's gonna slip it over to the cover. Elias, one, two, three. And Elias is gonna beat Rey Mysterio, thanks to Randy Orton and an RKO. It's the three most dangerous words in WWE history. Connects once again, and Randy Orton is in the middle of the ring, celebrating with Elias. And what the hell is this is all about? For the second week in a row, Randy Orton targeting Rey Mysterio. What a nasty RKO that was, costing Mysterio of the matchup here tonight. And goddamn Randy Orton once again sticking it to Rey Mysterio. With an RKO helping Elias pick up the win. Uh, next up, the new Intercontinental Champion, the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins, will go one-on-one -on -one with the one and only Ricochet here tonight on Raw. Coming up next.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Monday Night Raw. And this show sounds really pathetic without the music. And I really hate uh, commentary without the music. Usually when I do live from PlayStation, I go from there. It, um... Freaking captions. I can hear the music, but y'all can't. And now neither one of us can hear the music. And now it's just dead. This is like a silence now. Thing sounds pathetic. There's the new Intercontinental Champion Seth Rollins, the Monday Night Messiah, who defeated Cesaro last week in his hometown of Davenport, Iowa, to reclaim the Intercontinental Champion for a second time in his WWE career. Monday Night Messiah with Intercontinental Championship gold around his waist. And we saw what Keith Lee did to Seth Rollins' disciple. Earlier tonight, Buddy Murphy just got a, a big bang catastrophe right on the outside. You know, Seth was certainly watching that one. But Rollins has to pay attention and stay focused against the one and only Ricochet. Who's also coming at Rollins in the Continental Championship, he has said. Ricochet, a former NXT North American Champion, a former WWE United States Champion. But things have slowed down for Ricochet in quite some time. Last year, he walked into WrestleMania as United States Champion, didn't walk out, and hasn't held the championship since. Ricochet looking to change that tone. Here tonight with a victory over the Monday Night Messiah, the Intercontinental Champion here in this matchup. And if you're Ricochet, you got to be pulling out all the stops to be able to defeat Seth Rollins who was firing on all cylinders after his victory last week over Cesaro. There's no one quite like Ricochet and that squared circle. Ricochet loves the, the pace. Oh, kick right to the midsection of Rollins. Going right after the Ricochet here tonight. You see the Intercontinental Champion not wasting no time against Ricochet here tonight. Must have wear down Ricochet as Rollins. I'll tell you what, Byron. If you really want to stay safe, how about you leave the commentary table for the rest of the night? Oh, I got a suplex back inside of the ring from the Monday Night Messiah. Was in control of this matchup. Spin Kick right to the, the midsection. midsection. I just whip off the ropes. Ricochet, oh, what a spine buster. Flexing the muscles there. As he takes down the Monday Night Messiah. Rolls through. Whoa. Oh, what a kick right to the back of the head. Rollins just got nailed that time. And it's interesting to see for the second week in a row, Rollins coming out to the ring with no Murphy, no Kane. Oh, an uppercut. And no Shinsuke Nakamura, the Monday Night Messiah, going solo. 
for the second week in a row. There's a oh, counters that one on the knee right to the face. Rollins with a nasty knee cover. Oh, Seth Rollins taking advantage here in this matchup. Rollins, oh, decapitated Ricochet that time. Right against the ropes there. And the one and only. Oh, having a hard time with the Intercontinental Champion, Seth Rollins. He's vulnerable. He's vulnerable. The Kingslayer, the Monday Night Messiah, the Architect, whatever you want to call him. But you may call him in the Continental Champion. Oh, face first goes Ricochet. Cover again here by Rollins. And a kick out again. Ricochet showing his heart. And oh, Ricochet back up to his feet in a heartbeat there. Delivering a kick right to the face. Stunning Rollins. Oh. Ricochet must be hearing voices in his head. With that RKO now feeling like the people's champ. And oh, what a moonsault that was. The people's moonsault there. By Ricochet. And a boot right there. Nailing Rollins. Now the Intercontinental Champion. Stunned here in this non-title matchup. Can Rollins get back in control? Out of Corona by Ricochet. Ricochet feeding off the momentum from the San Francisco crowd. Oh, and a kick right to the midsection. Ricochet is not for one and only Ricochet looking for now. Oh, Rollins in trouble now. And the wall, Eric Corona from the top rope from Ricochet there. Taking out the Monday Night Messiah. And now a flat line. Shoulders down, legs hook. And the hook attack. Seth Rollins stays in it. Seth on. Count it there. Ricochet in control. Oh, look, Seth Rollins looking for the peace in mind. Ricochet with a counter. You know, a clothesline. Ricochet placing Rollins on the rope, clothesline. Sends Seth to the outside in the Monday Night Messiah. Down to one knee. Oh, what is this? Ricochet, I'm taking flight. What a beautiful move that was by Ricochet. Putting his body on the line, risking it all here tonight. Oh. Ricochet has a human highlight reel, but he's inside of that ring. Rollins kind of on that one. Getting out of the way. Oh, Rollins. With a package he's driving right on the outside. Count of four. Rollins, beach knuckle driver on the floor. Count of five. Seth Rollins springboard. Oh, it's a shooting star present. Rollins did that last week and caught Cesaro, but not tonight. Oh, against Ricochet, right against the ring post. Goes Seth Rollins, the Intercontinental Champion. Hightailing it back inside of the ring. And Rollins all with a kick there. Excellent kick by Seth Rollins. Schoolboy rolls through. Super kick. Right to the face there. Top rope, go Seth. Has Ricochet right in his sights. And the Intercontinental Champion, Seth Rollins, connects with a one, two, oh, with the frog splash, but Ricochet was able. Ricochet was able to kick out and prevail out of that. Oh, oh. Seth now in control of this matchup. Anything can happen here at this point. Going forward between these two men. Uh oh. Ricochet on the top rope. Oh, we've seen this before. Rollins bringing it all stop. Rollins, oh! Reverse Falcon Arrow. Oh, connects there. Beautiful move by the architect. One, two, oh, a kick out there. Seth Rollins almost had this matchup won. Look at Shane Oh, the kick right to the gut. Has him right up on the shoulders. Snake eyes. Wiping out Seth there. Oh, that's the super kick. 
Bounds now has a piece of mind in the sight. There it is. Connect with the piece of mind. Hooks the leg. Could this do it? Two. No. The kick out. I think we are witnessing a career of problems. Do whatever he can to put away Ricochet. Not going to result to his packet move. The buckle bomb. Seth looking for it here. Buckle bomb on the Ricochet. Rollins with a buckle bomb. Cover one, two. A ricochet kicks out. Ricochet struggling to stay in it, but he is still in this matchup. Even Seth to figure out what is next. Rollins, oh, one for a DDT, but overshot it, I guess, and landed hard that time. Seth slow to get back up to his feet. Snap and a takedown by Ricochet. And a drop kick right to the back of the head. Knee right to the back. Oh, is Ricochet going to go up to the top rope? Oh, he certainly is. And he's going to be able to hit it from that far. 630 cents on. One for the distance, two. Oh, no, was able to. That was almost enough to put away Rollins. What a victory that would have been over the end of the continental champion. Oh. Seth Rollins to the outside. Oh. Rollins saving himself. He right to the face with a springboard knee. Oh, and a boot right to the face. Ricochet with a beautiful boot there. And look at the power of the one and only. Ricochet with a sit out gut wrench power bomb. Oh, what another cutter that was. I don't make radio and smile. Oh, oh Seth Rollins now. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Has him up. Oh, man, buckle bomb there. Rollins with a buckle bomb. Rollins off the buckle ball is going to look for the stomp. Rollins is looking for it there. There it is, the stomp. And that can be and that can Oh, be Seth is going to deliver two stomps here tonight. Off the rest of the second one. There it is, the second stomp. Legs hooked right here, shoulders down. Two, three, and Seth Rollins gets the win. Rollins with back-to-back -back stomps right there, wiping out Ricochet. Rollins making sure he gets the victory here tonight. Seth Rollins victorious here tonight on Raw. As he pulls out the victory. And coming up next, we're going to find out who accepted Edge's challenge. Edge is looking for his first matchup here on Monday Night Raw in over a decade. Oh, but wait a minute, like we're going to hear from the former Raw Women's Champion, Sasha Banks. As the boss looks like she's going to have something to say. As the former Raw Women's Champion lost her title eight nights ago to Bianca Belair in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. And Banks has not forgotten about that one. Off, style. Style. There's the boss. Of course, Sasha Banks making an excuse about her loss at Money in the Bank to Bianca Belair. Banks claiming she was under a fever. She was not ready. She was not mentally and physically ready to compete that night. If WWE attitude. management should have pulled the matchup. Okay, okay. And Sasha Banks said that's why she did not show up here last week on Raw. As she was home recuperating.
just up. Sasha just thinks that she is. Well, okay. Well, okay. And what oh, wait a minute. We hear? The Raw Women's Champion, Bianca Belair, the EST of Monday Night Raw, is here. And she's going to confront the boss, Sasha Banks, the former Raw Women's Champion. Wonder what this Wonder is about. What this is she about. definitely. And this could be very interesting here. Right now. Now. I remember the last Let's time these two women stood toe to toe. Bianca Belair was able to walk out victorious, which is Bianca Belair's first pay-per-view matchup, first championship matchup in WWE, and she won it. Not other against someone like Sasha well, Banks. Well, the table is set. No love between these two. the Golden Road Models. That's for sure. That's for sure. And Bianca Belair, she just says she does not want to hear that sorry ass excuse. And same as the WWE Universe. That's one way Bianca Belair is saying that matter if she was Come ready on, or on, not, on, she, right she would have right still there. lost. Could be, could be dangerous. And I wonder what Miss Money in the Bank Ronda Rousey thinks about this as the baddest woman on the planet must be sitting backstage watching these two women confront one another. You know, Ronda Rousey's going to look at her chance and her opportunity to cash in that Money in the Bank briefcase to. somewhere down the line. Poking the bear. Poking the bear. And Bianca Belair says, we can go anytime, any place, anywhere. It don't matter. She says she's a fighting champion. Okay, okay. Hard to finish Hard anything, to finish around, anything this place. around this place. Banks says she is not going to give her what she wants. She's not going to fight her tonight. And Sasha Banks says she has talked to the Raw GM, Vince McMahon, who was stunned earlier tonight for a third week in a row by Stone Cold Steve blood, Austin. And Banks said that she is a challenging fan favorite, fan favorite. Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's Championship in a rematch in two weeks at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Sasha Banks getting her Raw Women's Championship rematch in two weeks against Bianca Belair. And Bianca Belair seems pretty satisfied uh, about that. Seems a little seems cocky. A little cocky. Bringing, the Bringing the attitude. And she says she's going to add on a little bit of information. As that match will be a two out of three falls extreme Sometimes rules matchup for the Raw Women's Championship. Bankston like that calling. Oh, what a slap right to the face from the Raw Women's Champion, Bianca Belair. Now's the time now to find that second win. Now she's coming out on Sasha Banks here. Banks, oh, what a clothesline. Sending the Raw Women's Champion over the top, roping down to the outside as a fight is brought out between these two here on the outside of the ring between Banks and Bianca Belair. And Banks with those forearms right to the face. And oh, being tackled right against the ring apron. And Ronda Rousey has to be loving this. A two out of three falls. Extreme Rules matchup for the Raw Women's Championship at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view a week from Sunday. And these two women are going to tear each other apart. Are they not going to wait? Oh, to Extreme Rules. They're going to do things here tonight. Unspeakable things to one another. Oh, Sasha Binks. Now taking Bianca Belair up the stage, and oh, the EST of Monday Night Raw fighting off the boss here. And Banks being tossed back inside of the ring. And oh, nasty forearm, bringing Sasha Banks down. Nobody's gonna come out here and stop this, and all Banks had enough. Sasha Banks looks like she has had enough here tonight. She has won no parts of Bianca Belair. Oh, Bianca Belair still wants to go. And oh, Sasha Banks going to use her momentum and send her right against the ring barricade. 
Well, now the fight is going to spill towards the stage now. What else is going to happen here between these two? They're going towards the ramp, and oh, Banks teeing off. Oh, they need right to the midsection. And oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. No, Sasha Banks, no. Oh, a snap suplex right on the stage. Taken out Bianca Belair. As this rivalry just been escalated just a bit more here tonight on Raw between Sasha Banks and the Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair. Banks taking out the Raw Women's Champion, sending a message ahead of their championship matchup that was just announced. Thanks to Vince McMahon, that matchup has happened. But coming up next, for the first time since 2010, Edge will have a matchup here on Monday Night Raw, and it will be against Daniel Bryan. As Daniel Bryan was elected to accept the challenge, and these two men will go one on one coming up next here tonight on Raw. We've seen it time, and time, it time again, and time when again, Daniel Bryan's when competing, Daniel Bryan's in, the competing in the ring, he possesses dizzying, dizzying, dizzying speed, speed. and can run circles, can run circles around, around most, of his opponents. most of his opponents. The WWE, the WWE Universe here in Indianapolis, here in Indianapolis. and they've been on their feet ever since, since the introduction to this match, guys. This match, guys. Edge taking on Daniel Bryan, and Edge was had an interesting encounter with Bray Wyatt last week on Monday Night Raw. It's the it's the now he's taking on Daniel Bryan, the leader of the Yes Movement. Oh, this is going to be a big victory for Daniel Bryan and perhaps a dream matchup coming to here tonight. Edge taking on Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan has lost himself. Excuse me, the new Daniel Bryan has lost himself. He's lost his value. He's lost his value. The new Daniel Bryan has forgotten. Who he really is? Daniel Bryan and Edge, two of the most decorated superstars in WWE's history, going one on one here tonight. This is a big matchup here on Monday Night Raw. Daniel Bryan knows what it's like to be watched and stalked I by the fiend. Hopefully he can shed some light on the way to our superstar. Showing what he's getting into. What a return year has been, been for Edge, yeah. making this return yeah. of the Royal yeah. Rumble matchup, headlining yeah. WrestleMania against Roman Reigns, Reigns and defeating Re Roman Reigns, taking out his former tag team partner Randy Orton and capturing the World Heavyweight Champion. So Edge is on a game roll game and he looks to continue that. The Raider Art Superstar said he has felt short last week against Kevin Owens. When he took upon Kevin Owens for the Universal Championship at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. What a matchup that was. You guys can go back out on the channel at WrestleKid 1998. And look on that matchup. That was a war between Edge and Kevin Owens. Daniel Bryan now it's time for Daniel fight Bryan fight to see how he shakes up the hole. On Edge now, taking it to Daniel Bryan. I'd say the last time the city had a buzz like this. Calling up on Tyler and Daniel Bryan winning that one. Oh, the wrestling game. Background of Edge. How much longer can these superstars continue to defend off the fame? Every obstacle has been met with equal measure. Nice counter there. Edge getting out of the way. Daniel Bryan, oh, on the back of his head. Two men with two equally same injuries. 
superstars. Those that would like to be on the show for a while, and Daniel Bryan and Edge can certainly relate to one another. Oh. Edge hitting Daniel Bryan in the corner. Oh, the clothesline. Edge said he is not worried about the Fiend, and he looks forward to meeting the Fiend. Those were Edge's words last week on Monday Night Raw, where he stood face to face with Bray Wyatt. The leader of the five five Not to eat the world's great wide, the one that we saw at Money in the Bank. Right to the patella. Edge being taken down that time. Daniel Bryan oh, going to break out of the arm. Oh, what's it gonna be? Oh, gonna be? oh nice suplex there. Reverses. Can he make it? Can he make him pay? Oh. This might be this big. Might be big. Oh, plants Daniel Bryan face first. Shoulders down. One. Oh, and a kick out. He's still swinging. Still swinging. That's why that's Bryan's why considered a wrestling genius out there. Genius out there. Punch. Punch. Daniel Bryan now. Off the ropes. And oh, what a boot right to the face. And Daniel Bryan all right back to the leg. Daniel Bryan. Oh, and a kick right to the head. Right to the back of the head there. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The head is locked in the look. Going to work. Oh, malicious. What efficiency from those strikes there by Daniel Bryan on the edge. He's going to go right back to it. Good night. Good oh, and that night. one busting edge wide open. Nice counter there by the Rated R Superstar. Watch Daniel Bryan. Oh, and Bryan face first planet. Bryan countered that one. Oh, and close line. And the yes chance carry on here from this crowd. Oh, and Daniel Bryan sent an edge to the outside. Daniel Bryan in control. And oh, and a kick right to the face. And the leader of the yes movement, Daniel Bryan. Oh, that leg lock right on the outside. Going right to the leg. Referee up to a count of two. Oh. And it's escaping there. And luckily that time. Oh, Edge with a oh, execution right on the floor. That DDT right on the floor, mate. Give Brian another concussion. Back now inside the ring. Inside the ring. Look ringside, guys. Oh, wait a minute. What's going on? The Fiend. The Fiend is here. The Fiend is on Monday Night Raw, and he has the rated on Superstar's attention. I might want to turn. Oh! Knee right, knee right, knee right, right, knee right, knee right to the back. And Daniel Bryan out with the yes lock. Daniel Bryan with the yes lock. Edge with nowhere to go. And off the distraction, Daniel Bryan is going to make Edge tap out. Daniel Bryan is going to get the victory thanks to The Fiend. The Fiend Daniel Bryan makes Edge passes out here to the yes lock thanks to the Fiend Bray Wyatt appearance. Edge said he was looking forward to meeting the Fiend. I don't think he meant in that way. And nonetheless, a victory here tonight for Daniel Bryan. Edge return to Monday Night Raw. Well, matchup return to Raw ends in a messed up fashion thanks to the Fiend Bray Wyatt. And it's going to be serious repercussions there. But coming up next, our main event, Triple Threat Extreme Rules matchup. And we've just been announced. The matchup will be an Extreme Rules match for the Universal Champion. So the winner of this match will go one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Owens for the Universal title at Extreme Rules. Will it be Randy Orton, who we saw earlier tonight, with a devastating RKO to Rey Mysterio. Or will it be Samoa Joe, who has choked out every man in his path since losing the Intercontinental Champion to Chip to Cesaro? Or will it be his disciple, the television champ, Shinsuke Nakamura? And that matchup this Sun in two weeks 
will be an Extreme Rules matchup. And Vince McMahon has said he will be in the corner of the winner of tonight's matchup. So that is very interesting here. Someone is going to have the good grace of Vince McMahon at Extreme Rules when they take on Kevin Owens in an Extreme Rules matchup for the Universal Championship. I know Owens cannot be worried about that. And, of course, Owens has to pay attention, keep his eye out for the almighty Bobby Lashley. But who's going to win this Triple Threat Extreme Rules matchup? First man to gain pinfall or submission will be victorious. And Samoan Joe marching to the ring. Samoan Joe feeling good here tonight after winning last week's triple threat matchup between Dolph Ziggler, Keith Lee. One of the most dangerous competitors ever to step into the squared circle. If there is hostility, if there is tension to be had, Samoa Joe will be the first one in line. A lethal hybrid of cyber, of speed, technique, and a jip. There's the RKO master, Randy Orton, who we saw put his RKO to work earlier tonight when he attacked Raymond Mysterio for the second week in a row. And last week was more bizarre than this week when he dressed up as Raymond Mysterio and assaulted Raymond Mysterio right on that stage with a steel chair. And then tonight, Raymond Mysterio was taking on Elias. Randy Orton rushed down to the ring and from behind delivered a devastating RKO to Raymond Mysterio, costing Mysterio the matchup. Didn't have the nerve to celebrate with Elias inside of the ring. Cool, cool, calm, calm, collected, collected, but laser, but laser focused, focused, and ready to and explode, ready to explode, explode at, a moment's at a moment's notice with an RKO, with an RKO out, of nowhere. out of nowhere. Apex Predator with an opportunity to head to Extreme Rules to take on Kevin Owens in an Extreme and Rules matchup with Vince McMahon in his corner and to add the championship that he has never held, the WWE Universal title. And as dangerous as anyone that walks the planet Earth. There's the King of Strong Style, the disciple Shinsuke Nakamura makes his way to the ring here tonight with an opportunity to get revenge on Kevin Owens. And remember, when Owens is on his quest to become a Universal Champion and taking the title from the Monday Night Messiah, Seth Rollins. The disciple Shinsuke Nakamura was on that hit list in the TLC match of Owens took out Nakamura right here on Monday Night Raw. And Shinsuke has not forgotten about that. Cost of Nakamura some weeks here on Monday Night Raw. But this is an opportunity for the King of Strong Style to get back at Owens here tonight. Who's going to win this Triple Threat Extreme Rules matchup? First man to gain pinfall or submission will win. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, oh. extreme rules here. In a matchup like in this, like this what is something what is that something need to remember? Kevin Owens, oh, watching this match, Samoa Joe. Turning his focus on the knock all on the clothesline. I know Kevin Owens looking on here, thinking, I wonder who's, well, Owens decides to face. Who will he rather go inside of that ring with? 
week from Sunday home. Elbow right to the face by the Viper. Here we go. Start the count. Start the count. Owens. Owens. I mean, Samoa Joe saving. Shinsuke Nakamura there, now going to turn his focus on to Nakamura. Oh, Randy Owen. Oh, my God, cover right here. Could this do it? Right in the corner now is Nakamura and the Viper. And Randy Orton now turning his focus on to Samoa Joe. Uh oh. This doesn't look good. Cover right here. Don't need to maintain that aggression. Oh, and he's out of there. He's in the corner, right to the chest there. Drop kick. Oh, a drop kick there by Orin, who is firing on all cylinders here tonight. Shinsuke and Shinsuke and nice for them. Nice for them. Oh, a oh, kick right there by Nakamura. As a disciple now in control. Uh oh. No, 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 oh, this doesn't look good here for Randy Orton. The apex cut it up. Oh, right through the table. Right through the table. On oh, the Kendo stick. Oh, Samoa Joe. Breaking that fiasco up there. And that Joe, is, and a snap is, suplex right suplex. on the outside to Nakamura. In oh, and a kendo Turn stick shot. And you feeling the effects of that table there. Slow to get back up to his feet. And oh, oh. Samoa Joe's going to deliver a nasty yet. shot with that kendo stick. But Randy Orton oh, oh, finds his way game around him. Right right and oh, going to deliver Randy another bad here. shot. Right against the ring post goes the Viper now under the ring once again to Samoa Joe. A steel chair being collected there. Nakamura turn around. Oh, and it's too late. The disciple just made headlines with that steel chair as the destruction continues. Here in this extreme rules matchup. Oh, right to the midsection. That's Counter there. No problem. Get it out of that. Get it out of that. Bringing it back. Get bringing it back into the ring. Nakamura back inside the ring with a steel oh, ladder. And using it as a weapon there as he sets it up. Well, placing the ladder into the corner. Things looking like it's going to turn for the worse. Inside of this triple threat Randy, matchup. Oh! Oh, and another steel chair shot. Well, now Samoa Joe turns his attention on the Orton. And then Garanagi. Cover right here. This to do it. Two. Oh, Samoa Joe can't believe it. His really the only kicks out. Right on to the ladder now. Uh-oh. And oh, a power bomb right through the ladder. Samoa Joe just power bomb Nakamura through the ladder. I don't think Nakamura's gonna be able to get back up from that one. That has to do it. Green Dealton sending Joe back inside of the ring. Back suplex, Back no suplex, no. Oh, oh, no. Down. 
Turning things around with that one. Oh, oh wait, wait a minute. Reno's going to take the punt. Oh! With the punt kick. That got to be it. And Nakamura saving the matchup. Shinsuke saving the matchup. Oh! You've got to wonder how much he's been taking out of these superstars. These superstars. The Apex Predator climbing up to the top rope with his radio and looking here. Oh, the knee drop. Coming right here. Could this do it? Two. Oh, and Nakamura kicks out. Shinsuke Nakamura was able to kick out. Samoa Joe is still down. Oh, shoulder breaker. Oh, tossing the chair right back into the face. Samoa Joe wiping him out. Joe setting up a table inside of the ring. This cannot be good for Randy Owen, who we saw was put through a table at the hands of Nakamura earlier in the matchup. Oh! Randy Owen is going to look to put Samoa Joe through the table. And up, oh, oh, a suplex right through the table. Down goes Samoa Joe. And oh, shot with that sledgehammer. Cover right here. Two. And now oh, Randy Orton stays in it. As the disciple was so close. Matter to extreme rules. Kick to the midsection. There it is, King Shasa. Can this do it? One, two. Oh, Orton kicks out. Orton kicked out of the King Shasa. Great reverse, great reverse. Oh, Randy Orton now. Oh no, right on the sledgehammer. Right oh, on the sledgehammer. Oh, that's got to do it. Randy Orton wins one, two. Oh, Nakamura kicks out. Samoa Joe finally back up to his feet. Oh, Shinsuke oh. Makes headlines with that steel chair. Thanks to Samoa Joe. Oh, you're a knocky by Joe once again. Shoulders down. One. Oh, what a kick out this time by one. Samoa Joe taking apart the announce table. Up. From behind. Orton. Oh, once again. Samoa Joe picking the disciple back up to his feet. And now sending them over the top rope. Oh, Randy Orton now. Oh! Oh, Samoa Joe now. Just having his way with Randy Orton and Shinsuke Nakamura here in this triple threat matchup. Nice counter right there by the Viper. Game, game right now. Well, oh. Sequence. Oh, right against the announce table. Oh, uh, Samoa Joe has Randy Owen on the announce table. Remember, Randy Owen, RKO Kane, did the announce table last week. Now Samoa Joe with a pure doggy through the announce table it's all to Randy Orton. This is exactly what Joe is waiting for. Oh, he had a chance from the crowd. This is indeed awesome. Oh, 
to the back of the head as Orton is laid out after being slammed through that the announce table. Oh, face first. And right off the ring post. And no one and gets no one gets no one. There it is. Oh, it's Samoa Joe now. Oh, and a shot right to the back. Man, this is not, this is not good at all. Samoa Joe begging for Randy Orton to get back up to his feet. Oh, Joe now. Oh, looking for oh, the Tamara Plex. Samoa Joe looking for the Tamara Plex. Oh, right on the outside and on that kendo stick. And there it is, the Tamara Plex. Combination of suplexes there. Randy Orton has got to be down and out. Oh, Shinsuke going to grab hold of that kendo stick. Oh, and Samoa Joe puts a stop to that. Oh, Joe not locking it. Looks to lock it in. Kokita Clutch. Kokita Clutch. Joe has it in. The Kokita Clutch is in. And can he make Nakamura submit? And Nakamura tapped out Samoa Joe. Is heading to the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Samoa Joe is going to the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. As he wins this triple threat matchup. And it will be Samoa Joe and Kevin Owens in a triple threat matchup for the Universal Championship. And Samoa Joe will have Vince McMahon in this corner a week from Sunday. Samoa Joe sending a message here tonight as he is the number one contender and he is looking to become a two-time Universal Champion. Thank you all for watching Monday Night Raw. Please be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the flip side.